let's do another week of summer 2024 tier list where I rate the most recent episodes with Sunday being the cutoff. So Osan Newbie Adventure, I know it's Monday. I know that Rick popped up against, you know, a geese, but it doesn't count, okay? That's last week's shit. So my personal preference, let's go. First one, let's talk about Tower of God. Tower of God, I think it was better. It was better. Emily stuff, Horyang, Devil of the Right Arm, more lore. Good or great? It was pretty good. The fight was short, but the animation was definitely a lot better compared to the fight against Quatra, which was just fucking bum. It looked like a VTuber rig just moving, swaying left and right, but I'm going to put it on good for now. I think that maybe it's the bottom of great, but it was a decent episode. I hope that it's going to pick up more and more. Next up, Wistoria. Yaoi. Gay baiting. But it was fun. Wistoria should be great. They're hyping up this uh, new arc of... What was the actual name? Was it called Praxis? I forget. But there's a terminology I forgot, but it's all about dungeon exploration. And we form the ultimate party with like Liana, Julius, Wignall, Shion. It's looking amazing. It's hyping that stuff up. New antagonists are showing up. But beyond that, <laughs> the rusty sh Colette slice of life shit. It was enjoyable. It was enjoyable. Definitely not like the best anime I've ever seen. But hey, I'll put it down here for it. I'll put it in great. Next up, Perry. Perry was great, good or great. I it was really fun. The recent Perry episodes has been popping off, right? We parried a dragon, and this time we parried a fucking army. Nor <laughs> went around running, just crazy tornadoes, just eliminating armies that he thought he could never even kill. The use of the CGI was hype. Straight up. The amount of swords and the shields, like, like um, just blowing into the sky, it created this like level of immersion on how big the scale of the armies were. Great use of CGI. Emperor pissing himself and getting corrected was fantastic. I think I'm going to put it in great tier. It was a great episode. It was fun. Nor, we didn't get really much monologue from him. I'm sure we will next episode. And that's the whole running gag, right? Of him realizing, oh my god, I never, you know. To us, it looks like he's destroying an enemy. To the Emperor, it looks like he's just like this formidable foe. But to Nor, what is he thinking about? Is he looking for a bathroom right now? That's why he's running around? Next. Isekai Shikaku. It was a self-contained episode that I think might be peak or great. It taught us a great lesson. That at the core of everything, a white knight trying to judge a situation and thinking there's good or bad, life is a lot more complicated than that. And Sensei showed us a lesson about how the core of humanity, it is disgusting and cruel. And just because you thought that you saved these people against these isekai characters that created the casinos and gambling here, it's like, nah, man. And they also turned on the spirits of the tree. You know, the lady who was, you know, dancing all sexy for us. It was a great episode, like a self-contained story. Straight up, anyone could watch that episode and get something out of it. Top of great, maybe up here, but I think it's the best one for now. I enjoy this Kashikaku a lot. Osan Newbie Adventure. Remember, it's not yesterday's episode, it's last week's episode. And the event of that is just Angie training. I think that we can put it in like a... Yeah, it was a good episode, right? Nothing crazy going on. It's just setting up the fight against uh, Geese. And it was good. It was good. Honestly, in the most recent episode, if I would judge the most recent episode, it'd probably go up here. Osan Newbie Adventure has been an amazing power fantasy. I love the way that... I'll talk about this more next week, but I love the way that they incorporated like... um. Like, it's not fun when Rick just kills everything in one go. But it is fun when we're doing it in the context of helping and uplifting Angie and power scaling it relative to Angie. And it was genuinely a great episode. It was hype. It was fun. Next up. Noko time. Mm. No, it was fun. It was a sports festival arc. The returning characters like Tsubame's brother or like the the uh deer like the deer ceremony elder granny 
it was pretty fun. It was hype. I am not too much of a fan. I, I think the weakest point of Nokotan, honestly, is when Koshitan is just acting as a straight man. I do not find that fun. When Koshitan is just always like in shock and can't believe this is happening. I'm honestly like, it's the worst part about Nokotan for me. Honestly, I, I think that Nokotan would be a lot more funnier if Koshitan would embrace herself into the bizarreness of the memes rather than just uh being the straight man trying to be the sense of normalcy. I, I think that's ruining the show straight up. If, if Koshitan also matched Nokotan's energy and vibe, I think it would be truly brain rot content. It would be way more fun. But overall, the sports festival episode was really fun. Next up. Oshinoko. Peak. Four weeks in a row. Yeah, it is. It is fucking peak. We got the end of the 2.5D stage act arc. We got more revelations of the murder mystery. And Himikawa, bro, brother from another mother. Oh, ooh, ooh. So fucking good. I wonder what they're going to do now. I think this week is a hiatus, right? Uh, Wednesday. So tomorrow, we only have Roche today. Oshinoko is going to go on hiatus. It's, well, it's not a hiatus. It's like a recap episode. But, you know, the actual canon episode isn't airing tomorrow. So it's fine. I'm totally fine with them having... Um, like, whenever hiatuses or scheduling comes to an issue... It's, it's a big problem is to, if you can see the anime kind of falling apart while it led up to that. But Oshinoko's quality has never dropped, so I'm like, take your time. I don't care. Like, you do you. You, you, you guys are fucking killing it. Dogakobo, I believe in you. I trust you. Next up. Failure frame. Most recent episode was... Top of good or great? Did I enjoy failure frame more than Perry? I think I did. The more I think about it, this should get dropped here. This should come over here. Yeah. There's too many in great right now. Does it belong in great? I think so. Tuka showing us his quote unquote evil side. Not really evil, but a main character that's willing to do the dark shit that most white knight cucks could never do while hold himself accountable to his action and realize that, you know, I'm not a good person, but I'm going to do what needs to be done. I, I love that shit. The granny getting tortured was hilarious because the granny was so bipolar. One second, she's like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I can't believe I did this to you. And the next second, she's like, that dumb kid should be executed. It was so stupid, but it was fun. It was just a fucking mess of an episode regarding the antagonist of being the baba but like it was low-key hilarious in a stupid way next up tensura where should tensura go either here let's see what happened in the most recent tensura episode uh it was in orchestra right shion popped up with shuna the violin was fantastic we got to see Nobel Prize worthy presentation from Vesta and Gabiru talking about how magicules basically, you know, mutate inanimate object, creates like a will, a soul or something. That's why magic potions work on such a sword, right? That was cool. And then Luminous made the fan service and more hype building up to the tournament. Uh, it was, it was good. Should it be? Did I enjoy Tensura less than Perry? I mean, Failure Frame? No. I enjoyed fail I, I enjoyed Tensura more. I think it should be here. Yeah, I think I'll put it here. It was great. World building. More hype leading up to the tournament. I think it's fine here. Next up. Makin Heroin. Komari episode. It was setting up Komari stuff. I'm fine with putting it here. The quality of A1 Pictures Maki and Heroin its week after week has been fantastic. It was clearly a setup arc. They're setting up stuff with Komari and her insecurities of wanting to deliver a special time for the senpais and Nuku kind of being there. We're planning shit. Uh, Lemon and Anna useless at all hell. I don't hate Lemon though. I hate Anna more. Komari's special ending was cool. There was an intro of the post credit scene. The post credit scene, dude? With the strongest heroine showing up, the Prez, that was pretty hype. 
Yeah, I think it's gonna be here. And finally, what do we got? Rostere. Rostere. Let's think about it for a second. Let's think about Rostere for a second. Most recent episode dealt with you keep family hold, mom, Colonel Sanders, grandpa has a grudge against the kid. The Hypno fan service, honestly, here's the thing. It's sad because most people care about that episode because of the Hypno shit more than the actual plot. <laughs> I mean, sex sells, right? The Hypno shit was whatever to me. It's like, all right, so it's fan service. I actually, I care more about like what's going on in the family holds at Yuki's house, but it, it was uh, mostly set up, right? It was mostly set up. I put it down like here. Yeah, I put it down like here. I think this is a pretty accurate representation of the list. These are pretty decent episodes. I don't think there was anything too mid this this week, right? These are great. Isekai Shikaku definitely being standing out amongst others because of this, this standalone episode of a contained like story about the core of humans being trash, you know, with story was popping off and not really popping off. It was set up, but like, you know, funny <laughs> yaoi moments as long as, you know, hyping up the Praxis shit. And Oshinoku, I think, stands at the top of all others. I think this is my tier list for this most recent week's worth of summer 2024 anime. If my opinions has got you triggered, it's because you know I'm right. Fuck you. <laughs>